Violent riots have erupted on American college campuses in the last week, with young adults protesting Israel and its ongoing war with Hamas. Police have arrested hundreds of protesters, and now new reports are shedding light on who is being arrested. Police say they're not just arresting students, but also chaos professionals. Over the last week, protesters set up barricaded tent encampments on the campuses of Columbia, NYU, UCLA, Yale, Harvard, UT at Austin and others. Violent clashes have led to people being assaulted. One Jewish girl was even beaten unconscious by a pro-Palestinian supporter at UCLA earlier this week. Protesters illegally seized Hamilton Hall at Columbia University by scaling walls and smashing out windows. Vandals also spray painted and destroyed state property at UCLA. Police officers in riot gear have arrested hundreds of agitators and colleges have had to cancel classes and graduation ceremonies. Nearly half of the pro-Palestinian agitators arrested at Columbia University and the City College of New York were not students of those schools, according to New York City Police. The NYPD said it had arrested 282 protesters on Thursday and of those, 134 had zero affiliation with either school. It is our belief they are now actively co-opting what should be a peaceful gathering. To, this is to serve their own agenda. They are not here to promote peace or unity or allow a peaceful displaying of one's voice. But they're here to create discord and divisiveness. That is why I'm urging every student and every protest protester to walk away from this situation now. The New York Post reports one of the agitators arrested was identified as Lisa Fithian, a professional protester who has participated in several movements across the country since the 1970s. Police believe the outside agitators are guiding peaceful student protesters to follow their lead and use destructive and criminal methods to help radicalize the students. New York City's police commissioner said these once peaceful protests are being exploited by professional outside agitators and the safety of all students, faculty and staff are now a concern. Police in Austin, Texas say they arrested 79 people on the campus of the University of Texas Monday and of those, 45 had no affiliation with the university. President Biden made remarks from the White House Thursday morning saying he will always defend free speech and that violence will never be tolerated. This isn't a moment for politics. It's a moment for clarity. So let me be clear. Peaceful protest in America. Violent protest is not protected. Peaceful protest is. It's against the law when violence occurs. Destroying property is not a peaceful protest. It's against the law. Vandalism trespassing, breaking windows, shutting down campuses, forcing the cancellation of classes and graduations. None of this is a peaceful protest. President Biden also said the college protests and riots have not made him reconsider his Middle Eastern policies. For more on this and other stories, download the Straight Arrow News app.